Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Coordinate Systems. In this CAD Power video, I am going to show you a tool with which you can edit multiple vertices of the polyline. So under polyline tools, in vertex management, you have this multiple vertex editor. You need to first specify which coordinate you want to move. So you can either move X, Y, Z or any of these combinations. And also you need to specify what type of movement you want. So let us choose X for now which means I want to move only in the X direction and I'm going to choose this option which is move dynamic general and specify the X movement as 10. So select a polyline so I already have one here which is 1000 by 700 so I'm going to select this and then it asks me to select the points so I'm going to select this point and this point. So if I just want to move these two points I'm going to press enter and you can see that the red mark indicates the original position and the green mark indicates the moved position so both these points have moved in the X direction by an amount of 10 and during that movement it also will tell you how much change has happened in the area and perimeter of the polyline now this is a loop so it asks you whether you want to continue again by the same movement which means it's going to move again in the, in the x direction so I press enter and you, you can see that the initial area is 700,000 and the new area is the same it has not changed because this is just a movement in the x direction but the perimeter is changing so you can see a slight change in the perimeter so this is how you edit the polyline by moving the vertex in the x direction now let us say you have moved too much and you want to come back there is an R option here which is called reverse so if you say reverse it's going to come back in the same amount in the minus x direction so within this same operation you can either move plus x or minus x directions so once you are satisfied with what you have you can press no or exit and you exit from this command so now let us try the XY movement option so I'm just going to do an undo and go back to vertex management multiple vertex editor I'm going to choose XY as the option now for movement so the dynamic X move is 10 Y move let us specify 5 I'm going to select this polyline zoom out a bit this time I'm going to select three vertices so I'm going to select this this and this so three points are selected press enter so you can see it has moved in X and Y so as I press enter the three vertices that I've selected are moving 10 units in X and 5 units in Y each time so when this movement happens you can also see the change in the area for example here you can see the initial area is 802,000 and then the new area is 808,000 the perimeter also changes accordingly so even here you have the reverse option which means you can trace back your entire way how you move so until you are satisfied you can choose the right orientation right uh, geometry for your polyline and exit with the X command so in real life in your design situations you can use this as a simple simulation tool to take any closed or open polyline and then move selected points in specific X and Y directions until you reach your desired geometry using this tool one of our customers has been able to plan the layout and the spaces in a very efficient manner and here we have something slightly more complicated it's irregular and has got some arc segments as well so it works identically here as well so I go back to multiple vertex editor move dynamic general and I'm going to say 10 and 10 I'm going to select this polyline I'm going to select this point this point and this point so as I press enter you can see how the polyline with their arc segments move 
and you can also see how the area and perimeter changes with each movement so architects can use this command to do space planning they can figure out how a given space is going to sit relative to its adjoining space by specifying different movements for x and y or only in x or both x y and z so there is an z option also as you have seen so which means that this command is capable of working with 3d polylines as well and this could be of interest to people who use 3d polylines like surveyors and people in the mapping industry and so on there are more options in this command for example there's something called as move by value or move by pick say let us choose the move by pick option and let us choose xy as the movement so in this case you don't have to specify the value but you need to pick and show two points and based on those two points the movement happens so for example I'm going to pick this polyline once again and I'm going to choose this point this point and this point so here it doesn't ask me for the value it asks me for the base point so let us say I want to move from this point to this point so that's the target point so you can see that was the original point and this is where it has placed it now so that is the move by pick option there is move by value option also which is quite similar to the move dynamic but in this case you have to specify the values here and pick those points and it moves so for example move by 10 and 10 select the polyline select points to move and as soon as you press enter you can see that the movement has happened the difference between this and the dynamic move is that in dynamic move it is iterative you can uh, continue to move it but in the fixed move command you just have to specify the value and it just moves by that amount there is a reason why we have provided these two options the fixed move and the dynamic move and that is because in many situations people already know exactly how much to move for example if it is a machine and you know the dimensions of the machine or the space very accurately you can exactly specify the values and move it and in often cases people want to move multiple polylines in one shot so for those kind of operations the fixed move is useful and then there are also other kinds of uh, people who whose design requires that the movement has to be iterative you know by finding out how your design sits with the adjoining design and so on so for such people the dynamic option is useful thank you for watching this video and i hope you uh, like this command and it's available in bricscad version as well and works identically to the autocad version thank you